Okay, everybody. Yes, I had this thing running two days ago. That was the previous video. And here we are. The Kenny Bell is off. And I didn't find anything obvious. Like I thought, well, maybe the thing's leaking in the back or something. No, nah, no. Nah, it's it. I could see all in here. It's probably hard to tell with, on the camera here, but it, it's all it's all gear oil down in there. So it's it's leaking internally. Um, so I took that off. I took the discharge manifold off to uh, see what the condition was. Oh, and um, yeah, I found out why it was only making five pounds of boost. <laughs> and the obvious answer was the five pound pulley was on it. Because I forgot the eight pound pulley went sail sailing off with that piece of input shaft when it broke. So when I put the new input shaft on, there, I ha there you go. I had the five pound pulley, so that went on, and that's why it makes five pounds. Plus, the air filter here, I took it out. It was a, it, it was mounted inside the fender, and it, it's, it's crusty. It's got a lot of dirt on it, so that probably didn't help matters either. But, um, okay, you saw it running. It was making boost, and it spins freely. But, look at those rotors. Now, they're not, they're not shot. It's just beginning, and it's it's good I took it off when I did, because now it's fine, but probably under boost conditions, it, you know, it's it, it's going to put pressure and, and stuff in there, and the back bearings, along with the seals, are in need of attention. So this thing needs a rebuild. It's an Opcon model 3150. Um, used in the Kenny Bell systems on the Fox bodies, the 1.5. Um, needs a rebuild. Needs this. Needs the the seal and bearing kit. Um, if anybody has access to those tools to do that, um, here you go. Here's a good unit. Once you have it apart, you can go in there with some emery cloth and clean up the rotors because they're just. They're just starting. I mean, it's it, sitting here spinning like this. It's not doing anything, but probably under boost conditions, it's making some contact. And it hasn't graded anything yet, but it will. It would have if that's not done, taken care of. Um, I didn't take the back manifold yet, off yet. I'm still not sure if I'm keeping the manifolds or not. Um, I'm definitely going to auction that practically brand new input shaft. Um, but what I'm going to, the experiment is to see if this if this Whipple charger uh, 2.3 Whipple charger is going to bolt up to those manifolds, and then I'm going to if they do, then I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I'm not sure. It might be too much not being intercooled with a direct discharge like that. Um, plus, I'm having trouble finding an input shaft to match the distance to come up here. Um, it looks like Whipple doesn't just doesn't make them that long. Where is that input shaft? The input shaft. Uh, it's pretty long. It's a pretty long unit. I have to measure it. But I'm going to be auctioning this because this thing is the newest piece on the whole setup. So there you go. Um, I'll be selling that core. 1.5 it's a core it can be rebuilt and um, next video will be the manifold experiment because I'm sure there's people out there wondering the same thing will a Whipple charger bolt up to the Kenny Bell manifolds any questions um, just contact seller send it to my email and I'll uh, We'll go from there. Thanks.